Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how this works right here, get post meta um, with a certain uh, field. And basically the way this, uh, this works is that uh, it takes a custom field from any post you want and puts it in there. You can do different arrays. You can do really whatever you want with this uh, get post meta. Now in here, um, I'm using a get post meta for this. I'm going to show you how this is actually done. So let's first go over to our post so you can see exactly uh, where I inserted that. And I put that in over here, uh, this video URL. So you can see if I change this and I put test, test, hit update. And now I refresh my page. You can see that it'll put it in there. Now we're going to remove that just to, so we don't have stuff we can't test with in the future. Now the way I did this is, uh, I did this a little bit of an easy way. I use this plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. And Advanced Custom Fields is over here. I created a field group called Video Post. And I set this video post so the post format is equal to video. That way it only shows for video post, nothing else. That way I can have only this video URL appear for that. It doesn't make sense of a video URL for let's say a gallery post um, or maybe even a page. So um, I make it so it's only shown here with this little conditional logic. You can also add different things if you want a post to appear in multiple uh, or maybe if you want it to appear with a page template in the future. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, very easy to use. Um, we're not going to save this, I'm just going to refresh the page so we go back over here. Now, when you add a field, there's multiple different types. In this case, we're just doing text. You can experiment with the other types. Close this. I'm actually going to delete it. And this is your field name. So this is actually your custom field uh, meta name. That's what's going to go right over here in your code. Anyway, um, this will appear over there, and then when you hit update, it will save over here. Now, there's a couple ways you can write this. With this plugin, it does give you uh, another code where you can write the same thing like this the field video URL. And you can see if I do that, it'll appear twice. Now this already has like an echo statement inside of it. Now they also have another field where it's like this. And in this case, this won't appear twice. It'll only appear once because you needed the echo in front of it. That's for if you want to put this within a function or something else within PHP. Kind of convenient. Now the WordPress way of doing it, which is the way that I wanted to show you, uh, just because it's a, a little bit uh, like more future proof and stuff, so if you disable the plugin, it would still use, be able to use. Um, in git post meta, and then you put the ID of the post, so git the ID, which becomes a, uh, able to be used after um, because you're within this post, um, after the function the post, which we have uh, over here. And then you have your uh, your field name, and then you have uh, true, which is just part of this function. You can go read some documentation on it, and it'll give you more information. Now, furthermore, um, the idea with this video URL is, now that we have it as a field, we can use this video URL and parse it. Maybe it's a Vimeo. Um, you can take it and get only get this, take this ID and put it in such a format where uh, you put the embed code or the iframe code uh, within the video. And you can really do whatever you want once you have this ID. Um, yeah, that concludes this uh, tutorial on post metadata. 
um, with the get post meta function. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.